That's what's up. I love this, man. This is awesome. I love this. This is very international. I want to thank Grand Dauphin Country for inviting me here tonight. I actually found out tonight that um, he's from Nigeria, which is ironic. That's where my father's from. Um, a lot of people think I'm black, but I'm um, actually me. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm black, um, but me and my mom, we're actually from Indianapolis. Um, my father, like I said, he's from Africa, so I'm not black, I'm actually African American. Um, yeah, a lot of people get it confused, um, <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Um, <laughs> I can hear it in his voice too, man, I love it, man, you brought me back, man, I thought I was hearing my father when he was talking, his three words, okay? <laughs> And pray. Okay, three words. I was like, Daddy, are you here? This is where it comes. I love it, man. I love growing up, man, with an African father, man. You know. And, you know, it was one thing, you know, we had to understand him. You know, we couldn't really understand him all the time. But we didn't really have to. Because he had gestures. You know, Africans got like gestures and sound effects that they use and ad libs. Like, if I got in trouble in school or something, like if I didn't do my homework or something, and he got a call from the teacher, he'd come home. I'd not be in my room playing the game or something. He'd walk in and all slow, real theatrical. Your teacher called me to play. <laughs> and she told me you did not do your homework. Okay, you know what? You know, don't do your homework again and go to send your butt to Africa. I was like, I I'm going to do my homework for the rest of the year. I don't think. Uh, they got McDonald's over there. That... <laughs> For real, man. But the older I get, you know, the more I want to tap into that culture, you know, that heritage. Because it's, it's something that, you know, it is different, you know. And it's cool. It's fun, you know. I, I don't know if you guys know, they got a lot of African clubs around the city that you can go to. Uh, Metro Fusion is one of them. Um, and you can actually go and there's a lot of, you know, people around my age dancing, having fun. And it's totally different. Like, totally different. Like, you can go to a regular club, you know, they're going to be in there dancing, drinking, all that. But at an African club, it's one thing that they really love to do, and that's dance. Like, Africans love to dance. And it's in me, you know what I mean? Like, as soon as the beat just, it's... Everybody in there, I'm just, okay, I don't even know. I didn't even know the song, right? I didn't even know what they were saying. All I know, every time DJ switched it, they got hyped. Just <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I was like, this was not. That is what's not. It's a whole bunch of people in there. But it's cool. Everybody dancing, having fun. Ain't nobody fighting. You know what I mean? Well, first of all, it ain't enough room to fight. Okay, it's like a thousand people in there, and it's not this much space. Um, you got the rule all right. It ain't nothing but dance, sweat, and must going on. That's all it is in there. You just, I mean, but it's off the chain. And you know how they say, I know, you know, it's a, it's a stigma out there that all black people look alike. And you know, maybe all Africans look alike. I will say that, okay? Uh, I thought I saw my daddy like three times up here. <laughs> I said, Daddy, is that you? Daddy, is that you? Daddy, what is going on here? <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's what's up, man. But I love it though, man. I love being from Africa, man. It's totally different, you know. But growing up, my dad was cheap. I ain't even gonna lie, man. My dad, like, he used, he used to like to do stuff to try and, like, make us stretch, make our stuff stretch. Like, he would want to buy our clothes extra big and our shoes extra big. I was in the fifth grade, y'all, wearing a size 12 in shoes. <laughs> I still can't wear a size 12 in shoes. I don't know. Them shoes are still at the house right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing them shoes to school. They folding at the front. I just got all kind of creases and stuff. 
I said, Daddy, I cannot wear these to school. Can you, can you, can you, come here, come here. What do you mean? That's the sound. Put the sock in the foot of the shoe. Take your butt to school. Take in your butt. Struggle, you know, we had to learn to make stuff stretch. You know, <laughs> I don't know anybody ever went out of ketchup and throw it away. And your mom going to trash can and be like, You better put some water in that bottle and shake that thing up real hard. You got some ketchup left. I don't know what you know, <laughs> for real. Like, I had the mom who, uh, anybody had a mom who saved cooking oil? Like, it didn't matter what you cook, you bet save the cooking oil. And I didn't like that, because you didn't know what you was eating anymore. You were eating fish, deep fries, or chicken, I don't know what we're eating, what is this? <laughs> I had to learn to make stuff stretch. Sometimes she would even create a meal. I didn't know what we was going to eat. When I came home one time, she had a bowl of lettuce and some ramen noodles. I said, what is we eating tonight? She said, pasta salad. I said, what is this? <laughs> Are you going to cook? Do I even lose? You just, we're going to punch them and sprinkle them over the salad. Is that how we I guess. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all for having me. That's my time. I'm Kaylin Thank you.